Hey everybody, Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. And boy is it sweltering. It's supposed to rain tonight and the sooner the better because it is 200% humidity and sweat is pouring down my back. This is gonna be a real short video to show you what I brought home from Walmart this week. I'm not much of a shopper and I'm certainly not a big box store shopper. I tend to wander around and after about a half an hour I just get dazed and forget my name. So I stuck it out, I went to Walmart, I got a few things for my preps and I posted that on my community page and a few people said, hey, let us know what you got. Maybe there's some holes in our preps. I know a lot of other people have extensively covered this subject, but I'm just gonna show you what I came home with. So let's take a look. Okay, I actually stopped at Dollar Tree on the way back because I wanted to get some bleach and they sell a gallon of bleach for a dollar and you know, when I lived in California, I was such an environmentalist and I didn't have any sort of thing like this in my house. But I tell you, on a big property like this, chlorine bleach can come in handy. So <laughs> I stopped and got three gallons of chlorine bleach. I also got some uh, Brillo pads and some notepads. I mean, you can never have enough notepads, envelopes. I don't think there's a single envelope in my whole house. And you know how many notepads I have that are just thrown all over the place and they get wet and spilled on and so I got one of these really inexpensive notepads with a cover. Moving on to Walmart. Okay. I got plastic cutlery because, you know, if the water did, the city water did go down and I had a problem with my cistern, the last thing I want to do is be using precious water, stored water, to wash dishes. And hopefully it would be a short-term thing, but I did get, let's see, a set of 32. So, and of course you can always use long matches. These were on sale, so I got a couple of boxes of those. And you know, you can make almost anything taste better with barbecue sauce. <laughs> So I got a couple of bottles of barbecue sauce. The paper napkins were a great value. They have a whole division evidently of great value products. So these were very inexpensive and I got two of those. That should last me for a year. A pair of scissors, got that at Dollar Tree. And I got um, these contractor garbage bags because you know here I have to take my trash to the it's called a convenience center, not the dump. I've called it the dump before, but it's not the dump. It's the convenience center. And you need, I have three 55 gallon trash cans now. One of them is full of ashes and charcoal bits. And the other two, I have garbage in my shop and garbage in my garage, which collects all the garbage from the house. So you need a lot of garbage bags. Now, I don't drink vodka. Let me just make that disclaimer right now. But I have every intention with all of the wild plants that are around me that I'm just starting to discover. Some I'm just starting to discover. Some I've known about the whole year, but I want to make a tincture out of mullein. And so I was advised you have to have vodka to make a tincture. So I got... Now this is not the cheapest. I was advised to get the cheapest. And I did not get the cheapest, but this was a third the cost of the more expensive. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna start with this. Now my friend, Teresa, she has about eight bottles this size because she does a lot. I'm just starting, so I have a feeling that's gonna last me for a year. <laughs> Again, this is ditto on the on the plastic cutlery and paper plates. Now I don't see them, but I have a hundred paper plates somewhere. I did get them, but I don't see them on the table. Okay, baking soda is so essential for your preps. I'm sure you all know that. But they have a great value, great value, <laughs> on baking soda. You can clean with this, you can brush your teeth, you can do so many things with baking soda. And so I got two heavy boxes of this and I have no doubt that this will last me for at least two years. 
I already have a big supply of sugar because I I went to Kroger one time last year and they had it on sale for like a dollar for you know that bag that's about that big and I bought a bunch of them so I haven't used one and so I got they happen to have organic and it's not that expensive and so I got three well I got two of these so I have eight pounds of sugar of this sugar and then I got a big bag of what's well, not that big but coconut sugar which is lower glycemic index so your blood pressure doesn't uh, shoot up so much <laughs> I got 40 pounds of beans and 40 pounds of rice. Now, I don't eat very much beans and rice, but I assure you, if we run out of food, <laughs> I'll be eating beans and rice, gladly. And they did have, and I thought, you know, you can always get a little bag of the organic wild rice and put it in with the other rice. And, it, you know, it gives it more flavor, more texture, and uh, just makes it tastier. So I got a couple little bags of those, and then also a couple of bags of the Wild Blend, which has the basmati and the wild rice in it. I got a banana keeper. Now this is one of those things that you, you go shopping and you go, I don't have to have that. I really don't have to have that. I really don't have to have that. But I thought, how many bunches of bananas have I let go bad on the kitchen counter? If you put them in the refrigerator, they go bad. If you leave them on the kitchen counter, they go bad. If you pile them on a bowl of fruit, they go bad. And so I just bought this little plastic. It's a, it's a kind of an arm, and it just hangs there so the air circulates around it and it doesn't get bruised. Because if it sits, if, if bananas sit in a, on a particular surface for a while, they get bruised, even if you don't smash them. So <laughs> I got that. It was like $3. So I thought that I might really use that. Now, you can never have too much hydrogen peroxide. Uh, I go through this stuff with all of my little scrapes and everything. I go through a lot of hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> also, alcohol can never have too much of this. So I got about, I think I got six bottles of each of those. The alcohol was $2 and something and the hydrogen peroxide was a dollar. And you know what? I'd much rather use natural solutions to aches and pains but if you're really feeling bad and you need something quick, you know, I got a big bottle of acetaminophen. That seems to work better for me for the things I have than ibuprofen. And I have some ibuprofen. I have a bunch of foil and parchment paper and all that kind of stuff. I have a big supply, which I haven't even dipped into, but this seemed like a good value. It's heavy duty, 150 feet, 150 square feet, obviously. And I thought you can, you know, you can always use that on the grill if you're grilling whatever. I got this cooler because it was, I think it was 20, half this size was $24. And I think this size was $29, twice as big. And I know it's just an inexpensive cooler but it is made in the United States. I bought some of those plastic, hard plastic gels that you freeze in the freezer that you put in here because very often I'm going to Nashville to see my mother and then go to the grocery store and drive back. So things are sitting in my car sometimes for two hours and I don't even have a single cooler here. Now I know there are better coolers more, <laughs> higher quality and all of that the cats the cats are helping me but uh, you know I mean the bottom line is I didn't even have one so this can fit in the back of my car I can throw all the refrigerator stuff in there have a freezer pack in there this is just obvious stuff but I'm just telling you what I bought I saw one of the channels canning these dry beans so that may be what I do with these because you know beans and rice over time and they do have bugs in them and so you need to do something. And so I make can these in half gallon jars. I'm not sure. Rather than buying two of these pintos, I made up the difference in 20 pounds of lentils, black beans, and I have some other beans over there. So this seemed like a really nice rice. It's royal basmati rice 
from the foothills of the Himalayas. I mean, it says that's what it is, so I feel like that's probably what it really is. It seemed like a good value. I bought a value pack of four boxes of tissue, four six packs of Alpine spring water. It says it's from the spring. I hope it is. I know that it's better to use your own recycled, reusable water bottle, but if push comes to shove, you're gonna hope that you have something to offer somebody. So I stocked up on that. And if you can call four six packs stocking up, <laughs> that's not stocking up, you would need like 25 six packs, but that's what I got. Let's talk about oil, shall we? Now, please do your own research about all of the things that are going on in the world. Don't take my word for it, do your own research. But I did hear that there are two companies that make engine oil, uh, which I think includes the DEF that is running out, that every diesel engine requires to be on the road. And so they have none, and, <laughs> and they're not gonna have any more for a while. So I thought, okay, let me just get some oil. So I am somebody that has never changed the oil in any machine. I take that back. Well, I didn't change the oil, but I y did used to put oil into my old Singer sewing machine. I did do that. I did used to put oil when needed into a vehicle. Um, I think that was before I started down the Prius pathway. But anyway, I've always, you know, relied on the dealer or the mechanic to change my oil. And by the way, you should get your vehicle's oil changed now if it needs it. Because why wait and then find out that they're short or there's a shortage? Just be prepared, right? So I decided to try to get some oil. Now, I have been to Walmart a few times and just for individual items and it's been very hard to get somebody knowledgeable about the thing I was looking for. Um, but I happened to get a young man who's going off to get his, his name was Austin. Can't believe I remember that. He's going off to get his electrical engineering degree at Tennessee Tech working at Walmart for the summer. And he changes his own oil and he knew all about oils and how to look up the oil for my truck and, and all of that. So he led me to this particular oil. Oh. So this is only five quarts, oh, four quarts and my truck takes five. I'm going, oh, I don't want to buy two. Uh, so technically that means I cannot change my oil or have someone else change my oil unless I have a complete set of fresh oil to put in it. See how much I'm learning here on the homestead? Anyway, I thought, well, let me just start with that because I just had the oil changed in my truck and I hardly drive it, so. And I just had my oil changed on the Prius, which only requires changing once a year, so I just did that last month. And so I thought, well, I've got a lot of motors in there. And so I got, this is SAE 10W30, so I think this would change the oil or possibly use this oil in my four-wheeler. I think I've got that right. And so I got, as a stock, I got five of those. And then I got this, which is, of course, your 50 to 1 two-cycle fuel. This is the fuel and the oil together. Now, this is my, I have two full cans, and I got about a half a can. So this should last me, you know, till next year. Um, I don't know. So... Oh, I forgot the olive oil. That's high heat avocado blend olive oil.
and I just picked up a natural polished hemp cord. There's a lot of cord in here that's going to last a long time. You can repair a lot of different things with that, including jewelry. You can make crafts. It's just a great thing to have around. Hey, if you really want to feel like you're part of the late bloomer community, get your own late bloomer t-shirt. Two styles. This is the late bloomer with the traditional tomato and late bloomer. On the back it says, with my website. Be sure and go to my website and subscribe. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. But underneath each and every video, you will see how to order one of these t-shirts. And the other style is, I'm a dirt person. So on the front, it's someone tending to a plant. And on the back, it says, I'm a dirt person. So be sure and check those out. What about you, Spot? Are you hot? Hey, Spot. You hot? What about you, Tiger? Tiger! Psst, psst. Hi, Spot. I know. So, in a bag in the house, I had the 100 paper plates. I know that's not a lot, but it's just me, so if I had more people here, there'd be a lot more. But I got toothpicks. These were very, very reasonably priced. And so I got four things of toothpicks. <laughs> oh, that fan feels so good. Thanks so much for watching this channel and your support means so much to me.